Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my playthrough of Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. Now, I was going to go ahead and head to the Copper Coronet and rest after freeing Hexhat the Vampire last time, but on the way out, she interrupted me. Where is it? Where is Dragomir's cloak? The Vampire's rag? I've got it here. Give it to me. Um, maybe I will, maybe I won't. First, you're going to give me some answers. Okay, what will you give me in exchange? It's of no value to you. It clearly is to you, though. So what are you I offering? I have nothing of value. Fine. You'll owe me a favor. Ah, it feels like I'm wearing a wet rug and is nowhere near as fetching. What's the matter? Nothing. It's nothing. For a moment, I felt different. Protection spells that hurt the wearer? Dragomir had a unique perspective, didn't he? Fine. I'm fine. There's business I must attend to. Meet me at the coronet in two hours. Now, is that a good idea? Perhaps you should stick with me for the time being. You're right. If elves waited this long, another few hours won't hurt him. So I get her back immediately. And wait a minute. I've got her into my party. Let's see what she does. Okay, she's got... Uh, all her stats are penalized, but they're penalized down to what she was before. She's level 10 thief. Same experience. Um, same proficiencies. Cask of Dragomir. Uh, lots of text. It's a powerful nexus of undead magic and has many interesting properties that go beyond what the creators had intended. Okay, and to the uh, Cloak of Dragomir. Equipped abilities allows a vampire to travel outside during the day and in full view of the sun, albeit with the following penalties. Strength minus six. Very arbitrary penalties. Wearable only by vampires. Okay. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get let's get the hell on out of here. I'll see you at the cop cornet unless anything else interrupts me again. I've a favor I must ask you. Like that. <laughs> I've been expecting this. Look, Hexat, you're lovely in a faintly terrifying way, and I like you very much. As a friend, what I'm saying is I'm sorry, but I'm really not not really interested <laughs> are you quite finished good i need good. you to hold on to this for me uh what is it this was dragomir's secret weapon a way to easily transport his coffin wherever he traveled okay it gave him an incalculable advantage in the campaigns he waged he, has his, he had his trusted lieutenants hold the bag. In the event that he was struck down, the means of his regeneration would be close at hand. An ingenious device. I'm putting my life in your hands here. Don't let me down. Well, it's nice to know that she already trusts me like that. So she is a vampire. What's, what's she got without that cloak on? What are her stats without that cloak? Boom, let's remove the cloak. Her stats, holy shit, 20, 20, 14, 14, 16, and 18 charisma. I just found my new uh, face, at least when she is underground and or inside. Although, to be truthful, you know, Dorn is not that bad a deal either. In fact, I'm going to put Dorn up front as soon as I can. Um, I'm going to put Dorn in, in lead just because his higher charisma is going to be useful. And I'm going to throw her cloak back on. Hmm. Yes. You have made a wise decision. What would you have me do? Right, now I'll good. see you in the copper coronet, provided I'm not interrupted again. As long as the iron rod remains in place, powerful I magic prevents... I need it. Are you all right? I'll survive. More than I could say if I wasn't wearing Dragomir's cloak. At least I know the rag works now. 
so wait a minute. Trap sprung. So she just sprang a trap. Let's go ahead and grab that rod. The rod slides free when the grinding sound the entrance reopens. You must gather your party before venturing forth. And um now I'm off to the fucking copper coronet. Holy shit, I kept on getting interrupted there. I will listen for now. It's good to be traveling with you once more, RPG crawler. We are a formidable pair, you and I. We are indeed. I see you still have other companions. You have a problem with that? You must know they will aid you only while it is convenient. You can trust no one but yourself. You misunderstand. They are all here only while it is convenient for me. The moment their usefulness ends, so will they. I am glad to hear it. But watch them carefully. If you see so much as a hint of weakness or insubordination, destroy them before they destroy you. And that is why I love Mind your tone. That and that voice. Jesus Christ. Alright. Um, Dorn and Viconia. Best ones ever. Although, dude, my entire party is pretty awesome right now. We've got the blatantly evil Blackguard, the fucking insane Dwarf, the hot doc or dark elf chick, Jan Janssen, who is like a punchline in and of himself, and a freaking vampire. How can you go wrong? Um, it will be done. Let's go to the Copper Coronet, then we'll come back and do the lost uh, or the lower tombs. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Okay, random encounter. Got a slaver. A Suna Seni. A slaver wizard. A slaver and an Eladrum. Are these slayers or slavers? Slavers. And an Eladrum. The oh, hell? Yes. I am Eladrum. That's like an angel you type. Sound like Goladon. I'm gonna you switch everybody to ranged attacks real quick Fuck, hold on i gotta re redistribute my weapons real quick sorry about that you see is eight and then um there we go why because i gotta get ranged attacks you on those wizards right away Okay. Well, that was quick. Freaking insta killed that wizard. Do the Eldrin next. Wait, 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 wait. Who cast? This, this guy. Is this guy casting? Who's casting? Okay, this guy's casting. Okay, this fucking sucks. Yeah, uh, Jan Janssen's about to die. Holy shit. Everybody but Jan Janssen is going to get on the Eldrin. Jan Janssen can run. And, um, yeah, I'm going to need to rest as soon as I get to the Copper Planet, too. Holy crap. And then this last guy. Yeah, I just kind of obliterated this random encounter. Alright, what do we got here? Hit the red button. Got a bunch of scrolls, nice. Bunch of potions, magic mace, magic dagger, magic armor. I am not Holy some crap. Be quick with it. No more of your treats. Yeah, you'll carry whatever I give you, Dorn. I'm grabbing all the bows because those bows should sell for quite a bit. A waste of my talents, but so be it. All right, onward. However, I get out of this place. Very well. Where is the copper coronet? Should be right up here, right? I'm going to go ahead and rest, and then I'll go looking for whoever this person was looking for. I look forward to it. Looking for an L. Oh, 
I got some cheap beer for you. And popping a ring. Uh oh, what's this? A dream. A dream of many things, of friends and family. These things always mean something. There's candle keep. Kind of in ruined state. And there's me. These doors? I remember I think It's Candle Keep. Yes, this was my home for so long. But it is too late to go back. They wouldn't have you now. They wouldn't have me. I had no use. Go an emo on me, Emma. Someone else does. He wants something. I I don't know why. Those in the cows don't even know. Why don't I know? Because you're stupid, Emma. Or oblivious. She's actually pretty smart. She's just completely oblivious. Do you Come on, do a do a heel turn. Turn evil. Or the others? You turn evil, I might have some use for you. They were. No. Wait. They were. The Why is Elminster standing there? And there was much more to learn. But it's too late now. They are so far away. You are far away. I guess it's supposed too to be heartrending, but. Uh, Why? Not really fitting stay, my character. But he digs deeper, pushes everything aside. I don't remember any of you. <laughs> So is she going to get brain fried by this? Do you remember Saravak or any other? I... I don't know. What, from all five minutes I knew Saravak? I mean, I knew of him, but seriously, you, you meet him like three times. They saw and that's death it. And mine. They seemed so important at the time, but I... I don't remember them at all. Something else is... Something else is more dangerous. Closer. I can feel it. Okay, Emily. Do you remember... Me? I... I can almost see... I want to, but I... Too late. You will come too late. Probably. She resists. She clings to her old life as though it actually matters. She will learn. What is this place? What is this all about? It is a portrait of what has happened and what may happen. Do you cling to the past or can you see through the pain? You feel the potential within, don't you? Will you cringe from what you know you want, what you can take as your own? Not really, no. It's not my nature. You know so. what you want. It is you, after all, which has brought us to the dream. Nothing is real. Yet. <laughs> Sorry, watching Emo and explode. <laughs> watching Emo and explode always amuses me. I don't know why I hate Emo and so much. I, I think it's because of her voice acting in the first one, and that completely put me off for like the rest of the rest I of will it all. For now. All right, so we rested up. Um. Looking for Hex Hat's request. There we go. Put the spirit of the child well into rest. I've got to find uh, uh, Linus. Okay. Let's talk. Uh, somebody's offering me something. Let's talk to Lethanen. It's like I can't even go five five minutes without getting new quest services. I ain't catch your name the first time. I am Dorm. Hmm, yes. Well, I am Lethanen. Lethanen. I thought it was Lethanen. It was Lethanen. Proprietor of the Copper Coronet, if you will. Hmm, welcome. I'm looking to dispose of some coin. Any ideas on how to spend it? Hmm, coin is always welcome. You will find the copper coronet able to fulfill your needs, whether drink, rest, or other sorts of entertainment. What are you talking about? Oh, one is always able to provide entertainment. Ah, things like companionship, perhaps, or gambling on battles and other things. 
Um, what sort of other things are you in are you referring to? I'm interested. Very well, you look like one who might appreciate such entertainments. There is more to my little place than meets the eye. Isn't there always? My cousin Ernest, bad speller by the way, always been a curse on that particular branch of the family, once owned a tavern that opened into a pancake factory in the back. Best canned pancakes this side of the Vales, too, and you wouldn't know it if you had drank there. Mind you, after the pancake famine, things were never quite the same at the factory again. I'll have to tell you about it sometime. Go over to the fellow by the door on the far wall and tell him I said to let you in. Talk to Frankie, or perhaps Madame Nin if you wish to partake and enjoy. Ah, I would enjoy partaking as he puts it. I've heard of the pleasures to be found here. But you'd seem nay the type for it, RPG crawler, being yellow and such. <laughs> God damn, Corgan, you are cold. I like that. I, I thought we were supposed to meet someone here. What the fuck, man? Like, literally, what the fuck? I guess we should go back in the back and see about getting Littleman's uh, teddy bear or whatever. Rumar and Pris. Alright. Well, we're at the Copper Coronet. I've got to go get Kagan. Or not. I keep on. <laughs> I thought he was Kagan for me. Corgan's stuff. Sleeping Dwarf. There's Linus. Hold on a second. You have a problem. Very well. Let me get Dorn up in there. I need Yellow. a swig of some strong dwarven ale. Ah, oh me, oh me pardons. I thought you were the, that bloody ghost again. Your name wouldn't be Linus, would it? Well, yes it is. How'd you know that? I've been sent by the ghost of the little boy you murdered to... Okay, hold on. This ghost you mentioned, it wouldn't be a little halfling boy by the name of Wellen, would it? What? How? How did you know about that? Well, you'll not take me alive. Yeah, you're probably right there. Come on. Come on, Doran, one round him. I know you want to. Ah, oh, fuck, he didn't one round him. Gonna take three hits to die, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna let Doran solo this guy. Ah, come on, Doran. Kill the man. Thank you. Money and a teddy bear. I'll carry no more of your trinkets. Carry whatever the fuck I tell you to, Dorn. Now let me re rearrange my shit real quick. Okay, got my teddy bear. What is my task? I will do my. And best. we're gonna go run in here and check out what he had in his treasure. And what he had in his room. More treasure! Yay! Alright, well that is taken care of. That way when we go back to the tombs, then uh, it will be right there. Well, there's Madame Nin. Peasant and Vera. Got uh, Xaviera. Alright. Yeah, maybe in a little bit, madam. I'm looking for somebody in particular. There's Rumar. Wasn't his wife looking for him? Life's well, been getting prickly on me, Oz. Oh, there. Do you know if my shrew of a wife is out of the tavern, out in the tavern, still looking at me? You must be Rumor. Oh, yeah, she's still looking for you, all right. Really? Well, be a sport and don't mention my whereabouts to her. I'm rather tied up with my little pumpkin here. Isn't that right, pumpkin? Uh huh. Okay. Well, tell you what, Rumor. I'll do you a solid. Can't find the person that I'm supposed to be meeting here. I'll do you a solid. And um. You? Have you seen my husband? Actually, I, I met him in the back rooms. Somewhere. Perhaps you could find him there. What back rooms? Yeah, that's right. That is right. Ha 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 ha. Not because it's particular noble. Oh. Because I want to watch this. You let me into these back rooms this instant. Or, uh, yes, ma'am. Right away, ma'am. I, I want to watch this. This is going to be great. Rumor! Rumor! <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
darling? Don't you darling me! You will come home with me this very instant! Yes, dear. No, okay. you can't have him. He's mine. One more word out of you, wench, and it'll be your last. Wench, wench, listen here, you old harpy. Harpy, that's it. Girls, ladies, don't fight. <laughs> that's awesome. Life's been getting prickly on me, all. Chris, pumpkin, are you all right? I, uh, I'm all right, Rumar. The witch didn't hurt me too bad. I'm so sorry, Prissy Pumpkin. I didn't know this would happen. Sorry, nothing. We're getting married, Rumi. Now. Damn, man, she got her ass kicked. Only had one gold on her too. That's kind of a cop out. So I just watched. A, I just <laughs> incurred a murder. I guess she shouldn't have attacked her if if she didn't think she could take her. Oh well. Jolo. Well, I'm not seeing anybody interesting, so I'm gonna pop out. Now I'm gonna pop back in again, just in case the NPC needs to load. And then I'm gonna head back to the uh, graveyard. Before venturing forth. I will enjoy this. I will take care of this. <sighs> or maybe I'll just play around in here for a little bit, because there's a couple things I need to take care of. Now let's talk to Saldanus. The fair folk rarely have time for small. Er, yes, hello, my name be Saldanus. You would not have any seriously beautiful female companions I might become familiar with, hmm? Um, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Ungar Hildar. Don't be bothering me, little one. I'm not in a pleasant mood that mood this morning. Alright. Wait, is that Pris? No, it's just a tavern watch. Alright, let's head back into the uh, area over here, I guess. And this opens up into... Kind of a back room area. Eddie, citizen. You're welcome to enjoy the exclusive entertainments offered by the car Copper Cornet. Feel free to look around. Sure thing. Sure thing. See what's back here. Damn, this is a pretty big inn. Whoa, whoa there, whoa. Got a sleeping dwarf, a peasant, and a commoner in that room. Secret doors abound. Goes downstairs. Alright, so far so good. What else is in here? Damn, this is a huge tavern. Declare yourself. You, what are you doing down here? This is a restricted area. Leave immediately or face the consequences. Um I'm allowed to be here. I'm one of Lithinian Let Latinian's special guests. I warned you, fool. Guards and trees not what I What the hell, man? The think you're doing here? Go wherever the fuck I want. Alright, this guy is a caster, so he's obviously gonna go down quick. You no, know, we're inside. Why don't I take a hex ass cloak off? Okay, that target's gone. Probably could have handled this a little bit better, but oh well. Yeah, that person back there is just buffing himself up. Not going to do much good, though. Do I have the rest of the Copper Coronet Guards on me? This is totally useless. I don't know why these guys think I care about what's back here. Must be something good, though. I see what we got here. I don't even need to loot one by one. Let's go ahead and grab everything that we can. Alright. So it's back here. 
It's like cells with people in them. Got a boy. But I, th I think that's enough. I'll explore that later. Let's see what the hell is down here. More enemies sighted. Yeah, whatever, man. You saw what happened to those last people, right? We have freaking Dorn Il Khan in front, and you're sitting there threatening me. Are these guys gonna aggro? Doesn't look like they're aggroing. That's the entrance to the sewers. Okay. Fest Hall Ladies, the bar. Looks like there's an entire section over here I need to go to. Alright. I'm through this door. What do we got in here? Winter Wolf. I think I've just fucked this entire place up. Oh well. Grab that. No experience. Well, it looks like I could have gone up here and just bet on the fights. Oh well. Um, on who's own. in here? Let's go ahead and unlock this door. Yes. I Cannot will... open unlock this door. Well, okay then. Totally so, fucking loose, what useless. What draws you to this part of Faerun? Arm of Catla. I seem to recall you mentioning something about a. Is that the romance music I'm hearing like in the background? I need to know who captured me, for what purpose, and what they have in mind for Imowen. How are you going to hunt down these culprits who ambushed you? Vermin rarely leave scent or footstep. The cowled wizards arrested the man responsible for my imprisonment, and will know where to find him. The cowled ones are not to be taken lightly. It's whispered how their power is boundless and their allegiances are only with the powerful. So I got, uh, I don't know if I did that right. I have no idea how to romance Viconia. And she is the only viable candidate out of everything. Because I heard a little bit something about Hexat, and, um, I do not qualify for her. Well, hello to you, dear customers. Welcome to the pit. The pit? You have animals fight back here too, then? Better than that. Here we have the very best in live entertainment. Actual combat between man and beast, presented for your viewing pleasure. Witness says the copper cornet's own gladiators fight for their lives in the pit. Feel free to join the nobles in the viewing balcony above, my lord. I see. When's the next match? I understand there's a match ready to be underway very soon. Go on in, my lord, and see for yourself. I'll be on my way then. To witness bloodshed brung, brings a rush to those who don't indulge themselves. They fatten their egos upon the sweat of their captives, a practice my own people enjoy far too much. Fa! Tis nothing wrong with a good and bloody fight, your clan ringing their cries and the, to the roof in your support. I've heard of the entertainment here, but never seen it myself. Alright. Um, yeah, we got we got time. Let's go ahead and see what, what the fight is. And I think I just killed that whatever was going to be fought, so... Let's join the nobles in the uh Soon's patience in the viewing the hall. I say sit by me. You certainly smell better than that fat. By pig my over blood, there. I possess the right. Okay. Was there anything else back here? Wait, can I actually go out there? Did I fuck that up? I think I, I think I broke the arena. Oh well. Wait, can I go over here? Oh seriously, I can go over here. Nothing to go do over there, but oh well. Oh well, I think I fucked it up. My bad. Okay. 
It wasn't very entertaining. Is that what you said <laughs> well, this is completely pointless. I'm not finding whoever uh, Hexat needed to, to meet here. I fucked some people up, though. You know what? Let's talk to Lord Girden. Girden here. You there? I would have a word with you. I am called Lord Jaredin Firecrack. Jaredin. And I bid you stand a moment and hear what I offer. Okay, sure. Word has come to me of your actions. And I see you as capable and headstrong, with the ability to handle what Harris tells you. Just the type of creature that I am looking for. You have done your research well. What do you need of me? Certainly you understand that these are dangerous times. And extreme measures are often called for. This, that is why I have need of you. I am lord of a community outside Athcathla, and while I provide for my people as best that I can, there are some things that I cannot do. Battle is not my strong point. There are marauders, horrid ogres and trolls that must be destroyed with fire or they regenerate. I need a firm hand to push them back. I need you. I offer a grand sum, worthy of a man of your stature. I offer 10,000 gold if you can free my land of this scourge. It is a fortune, you will agree. Ten thousand, that is an astounding sum for simple sum for simple monster hunting. It is a small price to pay for safety. It is not as though I am without funds. I merely believe in paying for quality. You will be wealthy in my service, rest assured. You are the choice I make, and the offer stands whether you go now or not. There is no other decision that makes sense. I have no doubt your service will be exemplary. If all goes well, we shall all receive exactly what we deserve. My man's, my lands are on your map. The Windspear Hills await. And so I've got another quest and one with apparently no time limit. That's good. I've still got that brawl to do over there. But aside from that, um... Who's this jolly fellow? Greetings. I am Jollop. I have recently arrived from the Ten Towns of Icewind Dale. It was a long trek, but I wanted to get the most value I could from the items I had collected collected up north. Athcatla is known as the richest city in all of Faerun, so I knew there would be adventurers about with the amount of coin I was looking for. Would you like to take a look at my wares? Sure. Uh, and this is like the uh, Icewind Dale themed magic items. All shit from Icewind Dale series. So this is one, you got one with the Planescape shit, and then one with the Icewind Dale shit. That's actually pretty cool. A lot of link-ins to other Infinity Engine games. Um, well then, I didn't find what I was looking for here, and apparently uh, I either misheard Hex Hexat or uh, was given the runaround. I'm sure she'll direct me here again in the future. Um, I guess we'll hit uh, Corgan's quest next. For now, this has been the RPG Crawler with Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. Remember, if you like what you've seen, to like, comment, and subscribe for more RPG content. Until next time, take care and... Goodbye.